left. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, we just got a few more comics left. Your next comedian, he drove all the way from the D.C. area just to make you laugh. Please give it up for the very funny Mr. Zach Finch. Hey, everybody. Give it up for Mr. Jesse Jarvis for being in RVM Magazine. I read that article. There's a sexy photo spread that goes along with it. So you you can jerk off to that later tonight, as I will be doing. So, I am the 24th heavyset white comedian who lives with their parents to entertain you all this evening. And it's, uh, it's pretty fun. It's good. Uh, you know, you got a lot of food there all the time. As you, that's what makes a heavy set, you know? <laughs> um, but also... You know, you, there's, there's nothing to worry about, man. It's like I'm on vacation. My dick hurts. My dick hurts a lot from jerking off. <laughs> the internet porno. Uh, the, I, I, I can jerk off any time, too. You know, I don't care if my parents are downstairs. I live in the attic. So it's, uh, it's a good place to get away, you know, for the jerkings. Uh, I live in the attic. I can jerk off whenever. I can be talking to my mother and jerking off to pornography, to be honest, on the phone, you know, like yelling down the stairs. Yeah, that's, uh, dinner's in 10? Okay. All right, Mom. All right, goodbye. There's only two times I can't whack it. It's when I'm super drunk. Most guys know that. Uh, it's like whiskey dick, you know, that's the thing. Uh, you just lose all, you just know. Uh, your face is numb, you know, you pinch your face when you're drunk and doing it right now. I'm a little drunk, you know, and I can't feel anything. The other time is when I'm super hot. Uh, and that's not because I'm like numb or anything, it's just because uh, I, I have to sing and I do it, it's, it's a different bit. But uh, I, I, I go to Facebook, there, there's, uh, Facebook to me is like a database of any girl that I know, some I don't, a database of hot pictures of just chicks in bikinis and, you know, half naked, maybe out of the club. Like, like you go to any girl's, you know, Facebook picture profile thing, you know, you look for summer 2010. <laughs> yeah, all right, and there's going to be some bikini pictures in there for you to get going. Okay? And then you go over to your usual websites. You know, gentlemen will know these, some ladies. Uh, your red tubes and your U-jizzes. <laughs> And your ex hamsters. That's, that's a good one. Um, and, and when I'm high and I do this, I. I the, the just terrible things in these websites. Uh, I start to just. I'm like, no, I wouldn't do that to this fine young lady that I know and will run into again eventually. And it just stops me immediately from. Yeah, I don't know. Jizzing. Um. So I work with children. <laughs> I am a teacher. Uh, and kids say the darndest things, don't they? I got this one kid. <sighs> we played the name game. First day of school. His name is Alex Islam. Islam is the motherfucker's last name. You know what I'm saying, man? He looks... You know what he looks like. He is, um... You know. Uh, so the name game. We play the name game first day. My name game is... Hi, my name's Zach. I like zucchini. Yeah, yeah, okay, keep going. Uh, Alex Islam, we get to him. His name game is, hi, my name's Alex. I like AK-47s. I was like, hey, what? Are we still reporting suspicious activity to authority or something? But what's going on at home, young Alex Islam? Do I need to have a talk with your father? There's this other fucking cunt of a child in my class. The only thing that she can call me is mean or meanie. She says, Zach, you're mean. I'm like, so? So fucking what? I don't say fucking, okay? I don't say fucking. Um, she says, Zach, you're mean. Mr. Zach, you're mean. I say, yeah, all right, cool. All right, let's keep doing what you're doing. Um, and I only let her get away with that because, A, she thinks that's the most hurtful thing to say to somebody. And I can come after teaching classes, which I did today, to places like this and just yell into this microphone at you all, 
you little fucking bitch, you're a whore, and just looking at her, I know, I know that this little fucking cunt will end up being uh, a, a hooker, a drug addicted prostitute, sucking dicks for anything. Okay, anything, gasoline. She'll huff gasoline and then suck all the dicks all the time. And that's all I got. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, thank you for sticking around for this. And uh, I'll see y'all next time because I'm here like an idiot. And Jesse Jarvis, start being amazing. Zach Fritch, everybody. Let him hear it. We just got like two or three comics left. Stick around. It's going to be a lot of fun. Your next comedian comes to the stage. He's a regular here at McCormick's. I love this guy. Thank you so much for sticking around. And I love this guy so much. Please give it up for Mr. Leo Morena. Yes, thank you, Jesse. RVA Magazine's Jesse Jarvis. Yeah. I didn't see that article because I can't read. That surprises no one. <laughs> uh, so what's going on, guys? I don't know what to talk about. Um, you guys watch Fear Factor at all? Yeah, they're bringing it back. It kind of sucks now because they took an episode off the air. Apparently, they're trying to feed people like donkey semen. Literally, like they're like, oh, well, you know, we we it's a delicacy in like Australia or some shit, and it's just like we try feeding it to people, and they didn't want any of it. It's like really that crossed the line. Like, I used to see it back in the day, like, they would feed people bull testicles. Like, how is it that, like, the shit that comes out is not cool, but the shit that produces it is fine? Like, literally, it, it, it's, it's okay on broadcast television to literally feed somebody bull testicles. Hey, how you doing? Very good, how are you? Awesome, thank you. Sorry, you Oh, that's fine, don't worry, it wasn't funny anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, Valentine's Day is coming up, you guys excited? Yeah, nobody is. All the single guys are here right now telling jokes, drinking their beers. We're not excited about it, right? I especially fucking hate it because I'm going to be alone again for Valentine's Day. And it pisses me off because I have a huge dick. All right? Trust me on this one, all right? And it sucks because I have a huge dick and I'm an ugly man, so it's hard to get the word out. Like, I try my best. Like, I'm literally buying hookers and, like, tipping them. Just like, just do me a favor, just tell your friends. Facebook it. They, I'll send you, like, a sex of my dick. Maybe that'll work. But honestly, guys, that only works on, like, the world's biggest whores, okay? Like, literally, like, I, I, I will sex Tequila Tequila and get laid the next night just fine. But any, any other woman on the planet will tell you that, this, that that shit does not work. And I don't understand why politicians do it. Really, because they usually have the smallest dicks I've ever seen, you know what I'm saying? And apparently I've seen way too many politician dicks in my lifetime. <laughs> Ouch. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, I'm an ugly man, guys. Sorry, that's just how I am. Like, I hate being fat, alright? Because like, nowadays, like, it's easy to be fat, okay? Everything is bad for you. Like, fast food, Chinese food, fucking even bread makes you fat, alright? Like, back in the day, like, 50 years ago, like, it was, like, you had to work to be fat. You really did. Like, you had to eat, like, two whole hogs, like a fucking cow, and, like, a gallon of butter to be fat back then. I mean, like, if you think about it, like, bread, yeah, nowadays kind of does, but then, like, you know, you look at, like, old prison <laughs> movies, like, that's all they fucking ate. When these guys are in the fucking hole, like, it's like, you're just eating bread and water. They, they were fat. I've seen the Shawshank Redemption plenty of times. There's not a single fat guy in there, all right? Yeah. I'll see you later, Ray. Have a good one. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> We're actually reminding you of a joke I had earlier, kind of, which really isn't funny, so, you know, I'll just throw it in with the rest of my unfunny shit. He was wearing a Rocky shirt, okay? You can tell a lot about a man by the, the, the Rocky movie he likes the best, right? And ladies, if you're dating a guy who likes Rocky V the best, just dump his ass right there. <laughs> just fucking do it. I wouldn't even want to explain it, but just seriously, if you ask your man, what's your favorite Rocky movie? He's like, oh, it's Rocky V. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. I'll see you later. No Valentine's Day for you. But um, I'll leave you guys with this. Um, like, um, I also smoke a lot of weed. That's just how my thing is, all right? Yeah, and, like, I realized that after smoking for so many years that you know you're really good at something when you can do it while you're high, all right? Like, literally, like, um, there was a guy from the Pittsburgh Pirates who pitched a no-hitter while completely fuck up an LSD. Like, 100%. Like, that, that's like me getting a 1600 on my SATs while smoking a bowl. Okay, and I would just love to hear the play-by-play on this. Five of the night, two strikes, two outs. Doc Gallo's ready to pitch a no-hitter. 
He is now foaming at the mouth. <laughs> and he is also completely disrobed. And he's either winding up for the pitch or fighting off invisible demons. We really can't tell from the booth, ladies and gentlemen. There's a pitch strike. Pirates from the game. They're rushing on the field to grab Doc. He is now defecating into his own glove. <laughs> As is tradition. Guys, I love you. Stay cool. And most importantly, stay free, all right? Yeah, live right there, everybody. Stay free, ladies and gentlemen. Stay free, just like the Maxi Pads or whatever. All right.